everyone! Once again, it is Thursday, which means it is time for Throwback Thursday here on HGTV Handmade. And today we're throwing it back to a show called Be Original. So you guys know that I love board games and I love making my own board games. So today we're going to learn how to make a DIY oversized chess game. Oversized game boards are a playful addition to any family room and they are rather simple to create yourself. For instance, if you want to build an oversized chess board, you're going to start Start with a thin wood product like a luon, a thin plywood. I just use this quarter inch masonite. Cut it to the size that you want your game board to be. We cut ours to a generous 30 by 30 inches. And then you're just gonna frame out the top portion. And we use, these are three inch furring strips. And then we're gonna fill in this portion with our checkerboard tile pattern. And for that, we're gonna use, this is half inch foam core. And we cut these tiles down to three inches by three inches and then cut through it with a nice sharp X-Acto blade. And I hold my blade straight up and down. That way I can get fairly clean cuts. You don't want your edges to be too jagged. And you're gonna wanna cut out 64 of these tiles for a full-sized chessboard. And then once you have all of your pieces cut out, you're gonna wanna paint them. Half of them one color and half of them another color. And to paint this foam core, I like using, this is a fast drying spray that florists use to spray artificial flowers and foliage and so forth. And it's great for this material. And I do spray it after I have cut out all of my pieces because if you spray it and paint it beforehand, then when you go to cut it, your um, edges get kind of marred up. This is gonna give you a nice smooth surface. You don't wanna to try to roll or brush your color onto your foam core. And then I just secure my tiles to the board using some hot glue. And it's up to you whether you want to have a bit of space between your tiles or if you want them to be butted nice and tight together. And we've designed our board to accommodate an eighth of an inch gap in between the tiles. If you want your tiles to be flush against one another, all you need to do is adjust this size to 29 by 29 as opposed to the 30 by 30. And then once you have all of your tiles in place, you're gonna cover this with a two-part epoxy. Let it set up and you should end up with a game board that has this beautiful glassy look to it. You would never know that that's foam core under there. And then for your game pieces, I just played around with different types of spindles that you can purchase at any home improvement store. They have a variety of sizes and styles. And then you can use your handsaw, or I just used a miter box, cut them down to various heights, and then mixed them up with other wooden elements, some wooden balls. You can get different sized finials. We also used some different sized candlesticks for our game pieces. And then to glue the different pieces together, for instance, this one here is gonna be our bishop, and this one is gonna be our knight. And to secure these together, I like using a two-part epoxy adhesive. It holds them in place. If you try to hot glue these together, they're gonna to snap off eventually. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna stain half of your pieces a nice dark stain, leave the other half natural, and then seal up all of your pieces with some wipe-on poly, and you're ready to play a game of chess. So create your own fun and games. Be original today. came out so cool and oversized games are actually really popular right now. If you just look up oversized games on Google Images or Pinterest, you'll get so many ideas on how to blow up your favorite board games to be life size. So tell us in the comments what game you would most like to play an oversized version of. So make sure to keep tuning in every Thursday for a new episode of Throwback Thursday. Don't forget to like and subscribe and happy DIYing. Bye everyone!